Guys, let's talk about how to pick up more deals in 2019. If you want more deals, make more offers. And on the houses that you're making offers on, make more offers on those houses, meaning multiple offers. So volume of offers on multiple houses and then on individual houses, giving that individual seller multiple offers because when they have multiple offers to choose from, they choose from one most likely instead of giving them one option, which is yes or no, yes or no. Let's talk about this in detail. So why should investors be making multiple offers? Because it's gonna increase the amount of contracts that you pick up. If you're one trick pony like everybody else, you're just like everybody else. Everybody can come in and make a low ball cash offer. This is what new investors or inexperienced investors do. They're one trick pony, one offer, take it or leave it. So if they don't take it, where are you at, right? So you need to be creative. There's a lot of different strategies out there, like some of these down here. Rent to own or lease options, they call it. Check your state laws, guys, because these change across state laws. And remember, I'm not an attorney. You need to check out what you can do in your, in your state because this is being watched all across the country. So you can do rent to own. You can do 50-50 types of offers. You can do any type of owner financing offer, a combination of different down payments and different interest rates. It can be zero interest, zero down. It just depends, guys. It depends on who you're working with as far as the seller. A cash offer, you can offer to take over the payment subject to. So here's what happens in the shift in psychology between the way people make decisions. People like options. <clears throat> That's why we have buffets. That's why we have Baskin Robbins with 31 flavors, right? People wanna choose. If you went to a restaurant and they only sold one thing, do you think that restaurant would be in business for very long? Probably not unless it was like the best meal ever, right? So you want to give them options. So if you say, here's a lowball cash offer, $50,000, take it or leave it, their brain says yes or no, yes or no. Whereas if you give them five different options, their brain starts saying, which option is best for me? And they go to choose an option instead of saying yes or no. So it's a difference in thought process of how they, they consume the information. They're going to choose an option versus just saying yes or no, if that makes sense. Because if you're just doing what everybody else is doing, guys, you're not distinguishing yourself and you're going to get left behind. You need to put more tools in your tool bag. And this is a way to do it. Figure out how to make multiple offers. Maybe we'll have some other videos talking about some of these offers. I have one coming out, I think, on how to make a 0% down, uh, zero down, 0% 0 interest offer, which is a really good strategy because sometimes we pay more than the house is even worth because we're not putting an amortized loan on it. We're getting 100% or we're, getting, we're paying 0% interest, which means it's gonna rapidly pay down. We'll have a video coming out about that, guys. But make multiple offers. You're gonna pick up more deals and you're gonna have more success. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you liked today's video, guys, give it a thumbs up, share it around. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.